It was just before noon as I made my way back from the church. The sun was high in the sky and the weather was quite warm. Completing the massive job of finding the Kaleidovia lifted a huge weight from my shoulders. I decided to meander around town. Everyone was making strenuous efforts to prepare. Amidst the bright and lively bustle, only a few arguments floated about. These were positive arguments about wanting to make the decorations even more beautiful, to make the festival even more exciting. Just until a little while ago, there had been countless fights simply about hawks and wolves being who they were. I won't have to dress up as a girl anymore for the investigation. That made me feel a bit sad. Mm-hmm. I might have liked dressing up more than I thought. Now the masquerade will be successful. I'll be leaving this town after that. You should go for one last hurrah as a girl, just before everything goes horribly wrong. I already received the reward from the church. Okay, I was wondering if you got paid already. I could prepare for my travels even while helping out at the masquerade. Everything was going well. There was no reason to hesitate. I wonder what Francisca would say. Would she be sad? Angry? Or perhaps... Hey, Judd! Huh? Um... Someone among a group of workers came to talk to me. Who could it be? He looked familiar, and he called me Jed. What? You don't remember me? You remember that time at the tavern? Oh. Oh! It was one of the guys with Levi during the drinking contest, and around him were the other members of the group. <laughs> I've only spent, like, months with them. No, that's not all. The people with Lugus were here, too. All, all you guys became friends. Nice. Are you on duty? You seem quite busy now. We're taking a break, but how about you join us, Sir Jed? Um, well... Wait, what's with the Sir? Because you're awesome, Sir Jed. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> hey, don't bother Big Bro! Big Bro? There, there. He doesn't mean any harm, so go easy on him, little Judd. Little? Little Judd? What's going on? I was getting confused, so someone jumped in to explain. After that incident, we all came to respect you. So don't be shy. Come on, we've got booze, too. Hey, if you make Big Bro drink booze... That's exactly why. We need to avenge Master Lucas. Don't say stuff like that. And you weren't at the tavern then. I knew it. The Hawks always play dirty. <laughs> say what you want. I don't want to get caught in a mess because of you. All right. If little Jed has to drink, I will too. Hey, he's doing his own thing again. Huh. This sounds fun. I'll be your opponent. <laughs> the gulps. Hey, it's better if you enjoy what you're drinking. They started a drinking contest without me. <laughs> Probably for the best. Uh, it's so sad, because you can just see like everyone really respects and loves Jed right now, but... It's all gonna come to a horrible thing at the masquerade, and then they're all gonna turn on her, and it's gonna be a thing. Though they were arguing aggressively, they all seemed to be enjoying this. Come on, guys! Don't start drinking in the middle of the day! You've still got work to do! Bleh. Such a nag. If you want to fill your stomach, take this. Here, it's the usual lunch. Nice. I've been waiting for this. Let's eat. Here's one for you, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I didn't think I would get to see this. I'm sure we'll have a great festival this year. Yeah, just you watch. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, too. The lunchbox that was handed to me was still warm. I'm sure the lady just finished making it and handed it to us personally. It's warm. How lovely. 
I looked around the town square and saw smiles everywhere. It didn't matter anymore whether you were a wolf, or sorry, a hawk or a wolf. I didn't know this town was so bright and cheerful. I was born and raised in this town, but I had never thought of the people here that way. Though it might make me sound full of myself, a part of me felt that I was a part of getting the town back together like this. It made me proud. But at the same time, I could be the spark that ignites the fires of war here. As long as I had the Red Witch's eye, that is. That was why once this was all over, I planned on leaving town. But when I see things like this, I just... It's hard to leave. And you're gonna be like, man, I should have left. I shouldn't have dilly-dallied. People said that preparing for the festival was more fun than the actual event. I found that to be true. The time spent together flew by, and we were finally at the day of the masquerade. Oh, already, eh? All right, buckle in, everyone. Oh, it's so pretty! Wow! <laughs> everyone did such a good job. Wow! The colorful floral cloth decorated the town in its own spring. The decorations were done by T's group. Nicely done, girl. Killed it. And the stall over there was set up by all of us. The glittery lights against the darkness of the night turned this town into something I had never seen before. Wait! Hurry, hurry! It's going to start! <laughs> Children wearing things over their heads ran by me. Were those substitutes for their masks? I heard something in the distance. A song? Morning, evening, midnight, listen to the voice of spring. Come, come, buy our fruit, buy and listen to us sing. There were children singing. Apples, quinces, lemons, tangerines, and ripe brown cherries. With stomachs filled with fruits and berries. Come, come, and let's join hands. Forget it all and dance, dance, dance. Something about this felt out of this world. The masquerade is about to start. Where's your mask, Jed? People were crowding around the town square. Quite possibly, almost everyone who lived in the town had gathered. And I was one of them. Unable to move about with the huge crowd, I just continued to wait for the moment. The platform sat, uh, set up at the front of the square was where the heads of the town were gathered. Wow! Okay, Levon, that wolf head thing you got going on is a little ostentatious, but I like the colors. Um, Francisca, killing it. And, uh, Levi? I... I need to see more of your outfit, because it looks incredible from what I can see. <laughs> but you guys are, are killing it, Loki. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone's outfits. I was not expecting a different change of clothes, but I, uh, I'm i very much in favor of this. On the right was the lady of the wolf clan, Francisca. Her sons, Levon and Levi, were next to her. Seeing Francisca and Levi with a commanding presence made it look like I was seeing completely different people. But Levon doesn't seem much different from usual. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> God. I love the green and pink uh, tea, by the way. I don't know what's going on with your hat. It looks like a watermelon, but otherwise, very much a fan. Lucas, there's a lot going on with you. There's like, there's bows and there's frills and then there's the, the feather in your hat that's like a boa, basically. Wow, man, I, I came underdressed for this occasion. On the left side of the stage were Lugus and T, the children of the Hawk Clan. I just hope Olgar is wearing the same boring-ass clothes he always wears. 
Lucas also appeared his usual self, but he was obviously nervous. She looked a little pale, too. If it were possible, I would have liked to go and talk to her, but all I could do was pray for her. Thank you. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> He's like, no, I will not get dressed for this. <laughs> uh, I respect you, Olga. I respect you. The last of the guests of honor finally came onto the stage. The Lord of the Hawk Clan, Olgar, in his boring-ass clothes. He slowly walked toward the center of the stage and looked down upon everyone. The murmuring crowd soon went quiet. It was so quiet that I could even hear a nervous gulp nearby. After a long, uncomfortable silence, the person responsible for it opened his mouth. From this moment hence... We shall commence the year's masquerade. The sun, the flowers, the fruit. Let us raise our cups to the blessings of the coming of spring. May all of us be blessed. Everyone cheered. Thus began the festival. Algar left the stage. His expression was as stiff as usual. It wouldn't hurt him to be a little happier, at least during the festival. I still think he's got some bad memories associated with this somehow. I wonder what thoughts were behind his stony expression. I found myself thinking about them as I watched Olgar disappear into the crowd. You got to the church, eh? There you are. I thought you had already left. It's you. Even though we're alone, you still won't call me the way you used to? Mm, I knew there was something between you two. I knew there was something between you two. I thought you hated the church. Or perhaps you're interested in the Kaleidovia. I only came for a moment. The stained glass window brings back so many memories. Only I remember it. Are you still there, watching us from afar, Arya? Okay, so you knew Arya. Did Ma- Well, can it- no, um, Alright. I'm trying to, like, math this, right? Because our girl's 16. So... Arya would have been, it would have been like four years, the last time we had the masquerade and the Kaleidovia was shown would have been four years before Jed was born. So is that why Francisca took Jed in? Because she knew Arya? And I've been wondering, like, was the scene with Arya really in the Hawk Clan part of town? Because does that mean she was... Related to Olgar in some way, either his sister or something. I I'm still at such at a loss as to how to figure out everyone's relations to each other. But we're getting into the main story proper, so hopefully things will be explained in a little bit. All the people who gathered before were now scattered in different directions. Some became the shopkeepers of their stalls. Some became their customers. They all joined together in a rumble of sound. The loud noises felt comforting in a strange way. People wearing masks moved about and no one knew who the others were. This is so lively. What remained of the snow melted from the warm gleaming of the lamp's light. This town was covered in perpetual winter, but in this moment we could feel the beginnings of spring. Speaking of which, the theme of the masquerade is always spring. Designs of the sun, flowers, and fruit were decorated all over town. The songs the people sang were all to welcome spring. From the bottom of their hearts, people were celebrating the coming of a spring they had never experienced. I usually disliked noisy environments and crowds, but I could tell why people became so elated during these times. Apples, quinces, lemons, tangerines, and ripe brown cherries. 
I plan on only wandering through briefly before leaving. Mm hmm But you want to dance, don't you? To be honest, I wanted to enjoy the festival more, but... <laughs> so indecisive. Nicely done, Elric. Very nicely done. Are you half hawk, half... Okay, like, you're the beast, right? The one that's got, like, part feather, part tail. Um, I assume the mismatched eyes is because you you were the master in another life. Right? Why are you so fidgety? You're creeping me out. Whoa! I was called out to by a mysterious animal. No, it was a human child wearing a mask. It was a strange mask that sort of looked like a cat. I couldn't see his face, but from the voice and the attitude, I could tell who it was. Elric? Of course. I was looking for you. Come over here. Huh? He grabbed my hand and started pulling me away. He was a small boy, but he was stronger than I thought. H hey where are you going? Just come with me. <laughs> He's like, I've got a pretty dress and a mask just for you, girl. What? What was he plotting? I didn't know if I should follow him. Hold on, unless you explain to- Oof! As I began to protest, something soft and warm covered my face. Puh! Puh! Rabbit says hurry. W wait I can't see! Ah! And with no recourse, these two little kidnappers took me away. Good job, guys. Oh, interesting. A room that I have not seen before. Okay. Their underhanded methods successfully shuffled me away to their hideout. Things beyond my imagination were waiting for me there. <laughs> they totally got you addressed, didn't they? Pa, 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 pa. Ugh, what a pain. Hmm, not bad. See, I told you. The villains had me dressed against my will. Was Lawrence also here to get me dressed? I didn't think Lawrence would be in on it. I was expecting Lawrence to be the mastermind of this whole operation, actually. Explain to me. Why are you doing this? I always wanted to thank you. Thank me? Yes. I spoke with Elric and I found out this was what you wanted. I never asked for this! Girl. Please let me I get a fuller version of this. This looks gorgeous already. Anger began to well up inside me and I stomped the church floor, the heels I was now wearing echoing against the walls. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at Rabbit. She's just like, oh. <laughs> You look so stunning. Wow! High heels that were difficult to walk in, and an elegant dress that restricted my movement. This is ridiculous. You didn't want this? Elric, did you lie to me? Jed, you're never honest about your feelings. I was being considerate. I would never want a dress like this! I see. No wonder you're angry. That's not true. She's complaining now, but she got changed on her own. I only did that because I'd rather do it myself than have you force clothes on me. Puh! Puh! Rabbit says you look real cute. Happy? Uh. Though he interpreted what Rabbit said, being told directly that I was cute was extremely embarrassing. You do look good in it, though. You're a true lady. L Lawrence, you too? You look better in women's clothes, so you should just dress that way all the time. Pah! I think this is what one would call being smothered in kindness. My embarrassment eventually overpowered my anger, rendering me speechless. Now get out there. 
We even get a new sprite with her. Please stop. I love that. Fantastic. Man, this game has everything I want. Wait, what are you talking about? To the masquerade. You're all dressed up. You need to have people take a look at you. What? What? The masquerade this year is bustling thanks to you. Not just with the Kaleidovia, but also the incident at the tavern. You have earned the right more than anyone to enjoy this festival. But but in this outfit? There are things you can't enjoy when you're in your regular clothes. There are quite a few things that restrict you. <laughs> He's like, go dance with your boy, I swear. No, but I can't. Someone might notice. That's not true. No one found out the last time you dressed like a woman. B but If you're so worried, then wear this. He handed me a mask. What is it? It's a masquerade, after all. This is part of the proper attire. I just had all of my excuses refuted. Do they want me to join the festival that much? For me? Is it really okay that I go out and enjoy it? Of course. Though I was still hesitant, I made up my mind after I put on the mask. I wanted to enjoy the masquerade this year with everyone else. Thank you. I'll be off now. Yes. Take care. Go have your Cinderella moment, girl! Though still slightly wobbly in heels, I walked through the doorway of the church. Maybe she'll leave her wig behind instead of her slipper. Jeez, she should just be more honest with herself. Anyway, I'll be off now too. Hold on, Elric. Whoa, what? I always tell you, don't I? Do not lie to others. When you say a lie, you will always layer it with more lies, causing you to live a life of suffering. I'm sure you wouldn't want a life like that, do you? Huh? Why does it have to be about life? Besides, I wasn't lying at all. You can make your excuses in the confessional. Come on, you too. Pah! S stop Let me go! Pah! <laughs> what did you guys lie about? The tiny sc Oh, because he's like, this is what she wanted. And he's like, what did I say about lying? Come on. The tiny scream I heard behind me made me smirk. Serves him right. But I would keep that thought to myself. Because he did intuit what I really wanted, after all. Wow! Cute mask! Doesn't really go with your outfit, but I like it. I decided to enjoy the festival, but I wasn't sure where to go. With so many people around, I needed to decide on a goal or else it would be chaos. Um... Oh my god, we have choices?! Oh right! Uh, what's his name? Hugh told me it was the time of the choice, didn't he? <laughs> Foreshadowing! Ah, uh, gosh, who am I now that I have choices? Can I do all these things, or just one of these things? Hello, pretty! Um, just in case I can only do one, I'm gonna go see people dance, because that's priority for me. And if I can do everything else, I will. The town square was filled with dancing people with stomachs filled with fruits and berries. Come, come, and let's join hands. Forget it all and dance, dance, dance. The masquerade is the best opportunity for a girl in this town to dance with a wonderful gentleman, and it only happens once a year. That was what T said, but it didn't really feel that way. Men and women were switching dance partners left and right. They were simply enjoying the dance itself. Did I get the time and place wrong? Then again, I did prefer more casual atmospheres like this rather than anything romantic. Hmm, who would be asking? Mm. You're not going to dance. Ah! I jumped at the sudden call to me as I turned around. Haha, <laughs> I knew it was going to be Levon. Uh, 
interesting mask choice for you as well. Excuse me, did I surprise you? He was wearing a mask, but I could tell it was Levon. He was much more gentleman-like than the Levon I knew. You mean the one that holds you down by your arm till it hurts? That one? Yeah. You resembled someone I know from behind, so I couldn't help but call out to you. Would you like to dance with me? With you? Yes. Levon nodded. What should I do? It wasn't that I didn't want to dance with Levon. To him, I was just another woman right now, and Levon is the heir to the Clan of the Wolf. As I dwelled on what to do, Levon suddenly grabbed hold of my hand. If you don't mind, please. Y yes All right. He drew me by my hand to the center of the town square. I wonder if you always dance with Levon or if you can influence who you dance with. Watch your step. Oh! We danced among the other people in town. My movements were embarrassingly awkward. Should've taken those dancing lessons, girl. I was in an outfit I'm not used to and in shoes I'd never worn. On top of that, I had never danced in my life. I was glad I was wearing a mask. Otherwise, everyone would see that my face was all red. Do you have experience in dancing? Actually... None at all. Then leave it to me. Levon led and swayed me in unis uh, unison with him. I could tell my body was tense. Wow. I will admit that is a gorgeous picture, though. Relax. Place your hand on my shoulder. Yes. Now entrust yourself to me. I trusted Levon and relaxed my whole body. Oh. I suddenly felt much lighter. It felt like I was dancing and spinning in midair. Of course, it was Levon that was doing that for me. Wow. What do you see? Huh? The lights of the festival. And Levon's face. Levon continued to gaze at my face while he led the dance. His eyes were earnest. My heart jumped a little. I felt like he saw right through the mask. Are you afraid? Huh? For leaving your body to a man like me? Not at all. It's... reassuring. You feel so reliable. I said what was in my heart and I smiled a little bashfully. This is like a dream. To be able to... dance with someone like you. As if to repay what I did, he whispered in my ear words that made me feel even more embarrassed. Yes. It's like a dream. No, you can't be- Ugh! We almost hit the couple next to us and Levon pulled me toward him. The momentum brought me right into his arms. S sorry Huh? For a second, Levon tightened his arms around me. Yeah, you ain't fooling this guy. No matter what mask, outfit, wig you wear, girl, he's always gonna know it's you. I fit right into his strong chest. When did we become so different? Levon seemed to want to say something. But soon after, we started dancing again to the music. He just can't... He can't get his courage together to be like, I know it's you. Ah, uh, it's painful. It feels like he embraced me back then. We continued dancing, though all I could say I did was let Levon take the lead. The watchful eyes from other dancing couples tickled, but because of the mask, I felt strangely fine. The princesses I read about in books must have danced like this with their princes. It made me feel like this was a special moment. That was what was going on in my mind. Soon the music stopped. A moment later, the next tune began, but Levon let go of me. Thank you. That was enjoyable. The, the pleasure is all mine. I was surprised to feel disappointed. I wanted to dance with Levon a bit longer. 
But it couldn't be helped. Lavon was a busy man. Um, was it all right for you to dance with me? Why would you ask that? Because you're the heir to the Wolf Clan. On a day like today, something of that nature does not matter. But weren't there others you wanted to dance with? I only wanted to dance with you alone. His serious tone made my heart jump. But Levon didn't say that to me. He said that to the stranger in front of him. Mm-hmm. Huh? Then why just me? Huh? I wondered why. My confusion must have showed. He responded with an ambiguous smile. Mm-hmm. Next time, I hope I can be more brave about asking for your hand. Huh? No, it's nothing. Just ask her to marry you at this point. Don't be weird Yandere obsessive boy, all right? <laughs> Levon brushed my hair up with his finger. He then gently placed a kiss on me. Where, though? Cheek? Forehead? I have my kiss notes. Where was it? What does it mean? Was it affection? Was it tenacity? Desire? What was it? I'll take my leave now. Was it a lip to lip? What was it? He's gone. I wonder what Levon wanted to say. Right now, I'm not Jed. And I could never ask him why as Jed. The pleasant time spent had passed and now only frustration remained. 